Enviro Stewards is an international environmental consulting firm based in Elmira, Canada. Enviro Stewards helps industrial and commercial clients to economically reduce their environmental footprint and to improve the triple bottom line, which measures the economic, environmental, and social health of an organization. their fellow person and uh, they work diligently often even with no pay uh, teaching or uh, administrating in the government and whatnot um, and so uh, it's very uh, easy to work with them because uh, when they bring us their ideas they're usually good ones and we help them to uh, in whatever we can to realize those when we brought a solar-powered incubator and we taught two uh, Sudanese how to operate it and they tested uh, 238 water sources throughout uh, their whole county and of those 171 of them have E. coli bacteria and so it's very dangerous water one half the people in the hospital are there because of water-related illnesses and most people who even aren't in the hospital have uh, water-related illnesses that they're living with if somebody is alive they're getting water from somewhere it's just that it's not necessarily safe water and so there's two approaches. One approach would be to go in and drill additional wells and uh, hopefully they would be safe water. Another would be to build these residential water treatment systems. The advantage of the residential is all the money goes into the local economy. Uh, if, if we're drilling wells, then it's, uh, you're bringing in a rig from another country, drilling the wells and then leaving, and you're taking all those resources with you. In North America, Enviro Stewards helps industrial clients primarily and commercial uh, facilities to reduce their resource consumption, energy consumption, water consumption, toxic use. And so uh, as a consequence, we're able to reduce their operating costs. Here's a uh, facility that was using a toxic solvent, methylene chloride, to remove paint and adhesives. Uh, we've changed them over to baking soda and compressed air. They're saving $225,000 per year with a five-month payback. Here's a hospital chain in Toronto. They've reduced each leg of their environmental footprint, energy, water, subject pollutants, greenhouse gas, hazardous waste, biomedical waste, solid waste. Um, in the developing world, uh, such as in Sudan, uh, we offer assistance with drinking water treatment and creating uh, sustainable employment. Uh, so specifically, we helped uh, start the uh, uh, Biosand Filter Project. The Biosand Filter is basically a container made out of cement and you fill it up with gravel and sand. And what happens is, you put uh, whatever water you're drinking in the top, it trickles down through the sand and gravel. The, the um, naturally occurring bacteria that live in the sand eat the harmful bacteria, and they get 99.9% .9 removal of their pathogens. In 2006, when we went to st start the uh, Biosand project, a group from the local government asked us if we'd help start a bottled water project. And uh, originally I was apprehensive because I don't drink bottled water here unless I need to and I didn't want to start uh, an unsustainable business in Sudan. But on further reflection, uh, from their perspective, um, there's very little traded in their local economy, but one thing that is traded is bottled water. The UN and the NGOs truck in bottled water from the next country, and half to two-thirds of the price is just the diesel to get it there, and then you've got the waste, plastic, and whatnot littering the countryside. So instead, I was thinking, why can't we use a reusable glass bottle? These bottles were going to be uh, sent to a recycler here in North America. Instead, we sent them over in a container to southern Sudan. And basically, uh, the way the process works is the uh, uh, Sudanese will wash the bottle out, put it on a drying rack, put a label on it, uh, fill it up with water from the biofilters that's been ozonated to disinfect the bottle, put a cap on it, sell it. They can sell the same bottle 20 or 30 times to generate revenue and then a portion of that revenue is used to help subsidize the Biosand project. At present there's seven families that are deriving their income from the, the income generating projects. So Gottfried's our project manager. So the water is going to help us. The, water, the money that we are supposed to take to Uganda will no longer go back to Uganda. Mm -hmm. We shall use it in Sudan mm. and we shall be able to develop our country through that money. Mm. 
somebody may ask us that this is only one factory how will mm. it mm. develop our country mm. but i've told you that we are now having seven people mm. who are employed mm. so if they are getting their incentives mm -hmm. that means they'll be able to develop their homes mm. and that is a part of the development of the country mm. Stewart's corporate philosophy is to honor God, serve people, and care for creation. As a business owner, your triple bottom line is very important, environmental, economic, and social sustainability. This type of work improves all three of those legs, and it also uh, provides an opportunity for corporate leadership. Most people are familiar with the carbon market where the people offer carbon credits. An emerging market is the water credits, and basically the way this would work is at your facility in North America, we would come in, we would help you reduce your water consumption as much as possible. For the remainder, the facility would purchase water credits from the Sudanese. Uh, the Sudanese would build biosand filters, install them in people's homes, and Enviro Stewards would personally verify that they're built and operating and pr provide certificates for your lobby, annual report, and website, if you, if you choose, listing the, uh, the water offset itself, also the avoided deforestation associated with boiling the water, the additional employment and health benefits and such. So this is a premium type credit because uh, compared to, say, putting carbon down a well in Alberta, the marketing benefits are much stronger and the story is much stronger for your customers. I think in North America we're very blessed with uh, the resources we have and uh, many of these resources are transferable to assist in the developing world and, uh, and someday we'll be giving an accounting for how we've used the gifts and abilities we've been given and so this uh, provides a, an opportunity to put uh, some of those gifts to use. Uh, because who could imagine that uh, just five years later what was pushed would become a place like this, where in the whole of southern Sudan, the first water that is bottled, not in plastic, but in glass bottles, is being produced. The solution to the, the sanitation problem that Juba is now experiencing uh, is to go this way. Because most of the problems of sanitation in Juba are now caused by uh, discarded plastic bottles and plastic material which are lying all over the place. And I think that the president is going to take a cue from here. Uh, and, and this is really, really wonderful. <laughs>